Hi friends, it's Mr. Whalen. I am back with another story. Yes, we switched things around a little bit. The window is back there, usually the window is on the other side. So that's why you can't see the glare in my glasses right now. And anyway, I had to plug the camera in and the outlet was over there behind you. So that's <laughs> right over that. That's why I moved the camera. There's a reason. Anyway, I brought a book, and I'm going to read that book to you now. It's a great book. It's fun. I uh, read this book a lot with our boys growing up. Found it downstairs at the Founders Library, so it is here in the school. And let's see what we got for you today. Okay, this is The Secret Science Project That Almost Ate the School. The Secret Science Project That Almost Ate the School by Judy Sierra, who wrote the rhyming story, and Stephen Gamel, who did the artwork, and I love Stephen Gamel's artwork. He is an amazing artist. You might have seen your stu his stuff in other books before. Um, he's just got wild use of colors and paint, and he's a great artist. Suits the story very well. The secret science project that almost ate my school. <clears throat> I was grumpy. I was grouchy. I was slouching in my chair. I was thinking grim and gloomy thoughts about the science fair. Miranda bragged her rocket ship could travel to the moon. Alexander taught his hamster how to sing a tune. The ants in Mary's ant farm were growing corn and peas, and Kevin Fink was on the brink of curing a disease. Miss Fidget looked me in the eye. I wished that I could hide. What will your project be? She asked. It's secret, I replied. The secret was, I didn't really have a project yet. I needed an experiment that no one would forget. So I stayed up late and found a great one on the internet. A science project fully guaranteed to win first prize. A substance so amazing judges won't believe their eyes. A mutant yeast with just a piece of dragon DNA. Professor Swami's super slime. Order yours today. I sent the money instantly. Then early Friday morning, a box appeared. It looked so weird with big green letters. Warning. Your super slime is sensitive, so handle it with care. Keep it safe inside this box until the science fair. Then feed it sugar till it swells 1,000 times in mass. Stand back as it erupts into a harmless cloud of gas. I popped the lid and gave the slime a teeny tiny poke. It started getting bigger. It growled and blew off smoke. It catapulted from the box and splattered on the floor, precisely as Sir Scratchalot stepped through the kitty door and plopped his paws in mutant muck. He rudely hissed and spat. Yikes! The secret science project ate my kitty cat! Is that your stupid science project? asked my sister Kate. Stop! I said. You'll hurt his feelings. Oops! It was too late. The slime began to spin around, it rose into the air, and when it roared and hit the floor, my sister wasn't there. Just then I heard my father's voice. What's going on in there? Something in that bedroom smells like moldy underwear. My science project's sensitive, I warned. Don't make it mad. There wasn't time to stop the crime. The slime ingested Dad. The science project looked at me. I thought I saw it drool. I tried to run away, but yikes, it followed me to school. Miss Fidget shouted, ew, what is that big disgusting creature? The slime stopped short and gave a snort and ate my third grade teacher. It grew larger by the minute as it swallowed Alexander and incorporated Kevin Fink and Mary and Miranda. As the slime was busy slurping up the last of Mary's ants, I remembered the instructions in the pocket of my pants. Sugar, I commanded. Feed that hungry slime some sweets. Kids reached in their backpacks. Soon the air was filled with treats. As donuts flew and cookies too and candy bars and gum, 
The bloated blob was quick to gobble every single crumb. I shook a can of soda pop and sprayed the growing slime till I could tell that it had swelled at least a thousand times. Now everybody hide, I screamed. Kaflaz, kaflam, kaflu. It vanished in a stupefying burst of CO2. When the dust had cleared away, my dad was up a tree. My teacher dangled from the roof. We all were on TV. So scratch a lot, I called and called. What's happened to my cat? He's on your head, my sister said, pretending he's a hat. My project didn't win first prize, and that was fair, I guess. Miss Fidget kept me after school to clean up all the mess. And underneath the cookie bits and sugary debris, I saw a goopy glob of slime and, yikes, it winked at me. Yes, the secret science project that almost ate the school. Someone didn't follow the directions on the box, did she? So that's what, <laughs> let that be a lesson to you. Always read the directions first. So anyway, I love that book. I love the art, like I said. Stephen Gamble's art is amazing, and I uh, love a good rhyming book with a good story. So that was just fun to read, and I was glad to share it with you. I will see you again next time. Bye.